How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Goran. Today I'm going to show you how to do this VHS effect all inside Premiere Pro. No plugins. Let's get into the video. So as you can see, I have a clip in my timeline. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight into my effects panel and type in color balance. And with my clip in my timeline selected, I'm going to drag the color balance RGB into the effects controls panel. I then am going to set the blend mode to linear dodge add. Then I'm going to go back into my timeline, select my clip and I'm going to duplicate it three times. So I'm just going to hold alt click and drag above and I'm going to do the same again. Hold alt click and drag above. So we have three clips stacked above each other. Now, as you can see, we have a blown out image, but not to worry. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my effects control panel and under color balance RGB, I'm going to set the green to zero and the blue to zero. This is with the top clip highlighted. Then I'm gonna select my middle clip and I'm gonna select zero on red and zero on blue. And I'm gonna select the bottom clip and I'm gonna select zero on red and zero on green. So now our image is looking normal again, but we're not finished there. I'm going to select my top clip again, and I'm going to change the scale of this clip to 103.5. You can change the scale to whatever number you want and what fits best for you. I'm just going to choose 103.5 or 103.2, 103.2. Then I'm going to add a VHS overlay. This VHS overlay is going to be completely free. All you have to do is click the link in the description below to download it. And I'm just going to cut here, delete this bit here. Make sure you place the VHS template on top of all the free clips in your timeline. The next thing I'm going to do to get rid of the black video on my VHS template, I'm going to set the blend mode to screen. So come back again into the effects control panel, making sure the VHS template is highlighted and under blend mode, select screen. As you can see, we now can see all our clips under our VHS template. The next step I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer. So click on this icon, choose adjustment layer, click OK. Then I'm going to drag my adjustment layer above all these clips. An adjustment layer is a clip which you can apply effects to and any effects or looks you apply to the adjustment layer will also apply to all the clips stacked below it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back into my effects panel and I'm going to type in Lumetri color and under color correction, while the adjustment layer is highlighted, I'm going to click and drag the Lumetri color into my effects controls panel. I'm just going to select creative. I'm going to click the drop down menu next to creative and faded film. I'm just going to increase the faded film to about 80. Then I'm going to go back into my basic correction and I'm going to decrease the highlights to minus 30 and I'm going to decrease the shadows to minus 30 as well. Now I suggest you play around with these settings all you want because different clips will require different settings. Now moving on to add a bit more I'm going to add a 4x3 aspect ratio. Just going to put it on top of all my clips and extend the length. Now the VHS overlay and the aspect ratio will be completely free. Just click the link in the description box below. And now you have the VHS look inside Premiere Pro, no plugins. My name is Jermaine Grant. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you again next time. Take care, goodbye.